So in this video, we are going to talk about the operators that are available in the C programming language. But before we start off with the operators, we should know what an actual operator is. So in any programming language, and specifically in the C programming language, an operator is a specific symbol that has a specific meaning. Like we have the symbol of asterisk and it has a meaning of multiplication. So in the C programming language, we have different types of operators. The first type of operators are arithmetic operators. So we are going to create two integer values a and b and then we have the following arithmetic operators. We have the addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, division operator and finally we have the modulus operator. So we know what addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are for but we don't have an idea what a modulus operator is. So let's trust all five of them. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type in a printf statement and in here I'm going to print out what I'm going to do and then I'm going to print out the result as if I do a plus b is equals to and in here I'm going to simply pass on a plus operator b and close off the statement. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this line a few more times and then I'm going to change the operators in each line. Then I'm going to save my program and execute it and you can see the result of my arithmetic operators a plus b is 17 minus is 7 multiplication is 60 the division is 0 this is 0 because the denominator was greater than the denominator and a modulus b was 5 so again we have no idea what the modulus operator is well the modulus operator is used to find the remainder of a division so these were the arithmetic operators we have another type of operators which are increment and decrement operators they increase or decrease the value of a particular variable y1 so the way to use that is we type in the name of the variable and then double addition symbols now this would mean the increment operator and this would raise the value of a from 5 to 6 similarly we have the decrement operator which is b negative negative so if i print out the values of both of these variables i would get we get the following result. After performing the increment operator on the variable a, we got the value 6 and after performing the decrement operator on the variable b, we got the output as 11. After that, we have the following assignment operators in the C programming language. We have the is equal sign which is known as the assignment operator. We can use it to set a value of a variable like we have used it over here. And then we have the addition assignment operator which is equals to a is equals to a plus b and then we have the subtraction assignment operator which is equal to this similarly we have the multiplicative assignment dividing assignment and modulus assignment after that we have some relational operators these relational operators are used to compare the values of two or more variables so we have the equal to relational operator which is used to check if a value is equal to another value to showcase this we can use an if statement and type in if a is double equal to b which means that if the a is exactly the same as b then simply print out they are both equal otherwise print they are not equal so i can run this code and since we have declared the values as 5 and 12 i should get the result that they are not equal similarly we have the greater than relational operator we have the less than relational operator we have the not equal to operator we have the not greater than and then we have the not less than operator we can continue this if statement as else if a is greater than b simply print out that a is greater than b else if if b is greater than a then print out that b is greater than a so now if i save this code and execute it i should get that b is greater than a and there you go after that we have the logical operators now these logical operators are based on logical gates so we have the and operator we have the or operator by the way the or operator are two symbols of pi and then we have the not operator which is the symbol of an exclamation mark so these logical operators either return true or false the and operator returns true if all of the operands are true the or operator returns true even if one of the operands is true and the not operator returns the negative of what it has been given to which means that if the operand is zero then it will return true now we use these logical operators mostly in the if statements we can say that if a is greater than b and the value of b is equal to 12 only then I want to print out my condition works. Now we know that both of these equations are not true. I mean A is not greater than B, rather B is greater than A. So I will not get the result on my screen. So I'm going to put in an else statement and in here I'm going to pass in a printf function and then I'm going to execute my program. So my condition did not work because one of the operands was not true. But if I replace this AND operator with the OR operator, which returns true even if one of the operands is true, I should get that my condition works. 
and then we have the not operator now the not operator works with only one operand so we can say that if the a is not greater than b then print out that my condition works so if i save this code and execute it i get that that my condition works lastly we have another operator but this operator is not one of the traditional ones and this operator is the size of operator so if i create some integer values and a float value let me remove this initialization and let me create a character value as well so i can simply say print the size of int is percentage lu by the way lu is the format specifier for the size of operator and then i use the size of operator as i would use a normal function and then pass on a similarly i'm going to duplicate this line two more times and i'm going to change these accordingly so i'm going to save this program and execute it now this is going to return me the size that the memory is allocating to each of these data types so the size of int is 4 this means that 4 bytes the size of float is also 4 bytes and the size of character is 1 byte at the moment so those were the operators in the c programming language